so just your thoughts, your impressions on beating the defending national champions. Oh, that, you know, that feels really good. Um, you know, it's a staff and a program that I know fairly well. Uh, Coach Clark has been uh, very generous with his time and, and, and I've been here at working camp and it's a team that I've seen play a lot and, and you know, they just do some amazing things. And uh, I was telling the guys before uh, the game started, you know, not to fear them but to respect them because they're a good program and they're the kind of program that we want to build and, and become in Kentucky. So a lot of credit to Notre Dame, uh, the players and the staff, and, and I know they're going to be back probably in a Final Four this year, um, but it was a good game from our end, um, but I was talking to one of the parents the other day, but just this weekend is all about learning and going and playing the last two national champions and not being intimidated. You know, we talk about some of the goals that we have at Kentucky and what we want to do and the special places we want to go, and if we're going to go to those places, we have to be able to go to a place like this, not to be intimidated, and, and be able to play a physical style that we like to play, but at the same time play and keep the ball down and, and show for it. And I thought that we uh, we played really well Friday, and uh, I'd really wish that we could get those 12 minutes back and see if we can get a tie, but in the end, we went up, you know, went, ended up losing there, and then today, I thought it was a very similar game plan, where we, you know, we, we we wanted them to play in midfield, we wanted to make it tight, and then when we won the ball, could we expose them in, in the open areas? And I thought that we had two or three chances, especially in the first half, where we could have done that, and then Stefan decided to wait until the end, which is fine as well. But I think that you can see the idea, you can see the tactical knowledge in the team, and you can see our strength, and, and you have to give a lot of credit to the back four and Cali. You know, I, I think Kalen and Jordan being two sophomores, uh, center back, center back is something that you have to be very, very smart. You got to read situations. You got to pull people around. And I thought both Kalen and Jordan did a fantastic job today. So it's just it, it feels good to be validated in some way. It's you know to beat a team that won it last year and are highly ranked. But at the end, it's just a regular season game and it's number four out of 18. So like I told the guys earlier, if we don't beat the next opponent, this does, this this result doesn't matter. So just to kind of play along those lines, um, it, it seems like. Every time you've played a top team, even your entire three years here, you've been like, well, we can, we can play with these guys, and you've played with them, but maybe you haven't finished. So yeah. what does it sort of mean for the program to finally get that result? And I, I hope, since we are so young with 21 guys being sophomores or freshmen, it's just it's a matter of confidence and belief. And I think that when you go to Notre Dame and you beat them at their place, that should give you confidence and belief because you're a good team. They are a great team, but we're a good team. Mm -hmm. And every time we go out on the field, we should know that and play like it. And I think sometimes with the young guys, they get a little intimidated. Maybe the other guys are a little bigger. They get lots of banners hanging about all the stuff that they've won. But in the end, that doesn't matter because it's all in the past. So I think a, a win today hopefully can get us some confidence and then we can go into Saturday and play with some belief. But the point about, you know, getting over the hump, I made that point at halftime where... Uh, Last, you know, on Friday we talked at halftime. We felt that we were at a good spot and we weren't able to pull through. So today I had the guys at halftime with it being 0 0. I said, you know what? Let's make sure we play in the second half and let's make sure that we do everything we can to win the game. And that's what it took. It took some really brave defending, a lot of hard work in midfield, and then some brilliance from Stefan in the end to, to finish. Because that was not an easy finish and I think he was one against four at, at the time. But uh, it was a great goal and, and in the end we'll take the win. Uh, I just have to ask about Cali, sort of your captain, upperclassman. Yeah. Three or four, just kind of off the chart saves. Yeah. No, I, I think Cali did well. You know, like I said, I, I was someone told me that you know they were challenging me on Cali being a number three or top three goalkeeper in the country, but I wouldn't want anyone else. I think he's a great guy on and off the field. He's very, very good. He's athletic. He's got great hands. And Cali wouldn't have been able to have the performance he had today without the back four. And I think you look at that back four, it's a back four of all sophomores. You know, that's not a lot of experience, but that's a brave back four. It's a knowledgeable back four. It's a very talented back four. And Charlie Raymond, Jordan Wilson, Kalen Fox, and Matt.